Hello, my name is Professor Scott, and I am here to demonstrate Foley catheter insertion for your skills validation. All right, here we go. Knock, knock, knock. May I come in? Hi. I'm going to close the door for privacy. I'm going to wash my hands for at least 20 seconds per CDC guideline. I will be sure to put on my gloves. Hi, my name is Laura. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can I please see your armband and can you tell me your name and date of birth? Let me put this other glove on. All right, and do you have any allergies? Okay, I am going to uh, just do an environmental safety check. The suction and oxygen is present and working. The Ambu bag and Yonker is present at the bedside. And I'm going to go ahead and bring you the bed up to my working height. Mrs. Jackson, the reason I'm here today is because your doctor has ordered a Foley catheter insertion to be inserted because you will be getting ready to go to surgery. This will consist of me inserting this rubber tube into your urethra and it will rest in your bladder and it will be able to collect your urine during the surgery. This will take me about 15 minutes. Do you have any questions or may I begin? Okay, I'm going to first begin by uh, pre prepping you, Mrs. Jackson. I am going to first um, put this bath blanket down. I've already closed the curtain for privacy, but I'm going to put this bath blanket down, covering you, and then I'm going to bring your bath blankets all the way to the foot of the bed. Okay. All right, and now, Mrs. Jackson, I'm going to go ahead and lift your gown. And I am going to rearrange some supplies here. I'm going to go ahead and open up my biohazard bag and put it right here at the edge of the bed. And I'm going to go ahead and take your hand and I'm going to reposition this here gently. And I'm going to move your call light out of the way. And I'm just going to make sure nothing is in my way when I put my sterile gloves on. I'll place my sterile gloves here. I'll put my, bio, my Foley kit there. All right, Mrs. Jackson, I'm now going to reposition your legs here. We're going to put you in the lithotomy position. Perineal care has already been performed. Okay. Try one more time. All right. I will go ahead and remove these gloves. I will wash my hands. For 20 to 30 seconds per CDC guideline and I will begin to open up my kit. All right. I'm going to take this and put it in my biohazard bag. All right wash my hands just one more time and now I'm going to begin to open up my kit. I'm going to take the first flap away from me. I will open to the side. Being mindful of my space, I will take the last flap and I will go ahead and bring it toward me and I will go ahead and reposition my kit. Okay, I will now take the drape here, only holding the one inch border, and I will make sure that the shiny side is down. Okay, and I will go ahead and I will place this right in between the patient's legs. All right, and I will go ahead and move here. This is not considered a sterile break because it is, it is on the shiny side, which is down. I will go ahead and bring this up here, bring it closer, and I will bring my kit closer, making sure to narrow that gap there. I'll wash my hands again before I enter the kit. I will go ahead and take these gloves out. I do not need these gloves, I brought my own. And I will remove this fenestrated drape. I do not need that. 
Okay, I am now going to get ready to put on my sterile gloves, so I'll wash my hands again per CDC guideline, and I will begin to put on my sterile gloves. Okay. I'll open the flaps here. Okay, I will don my dominant hand first. And I will now on the other hand. Okay, and I can fix this. Okay, I will go ahead and leave my wrapper there. It's not in my way. I will go ahead and sidestep over here. And now I'll reposition my kit just the way I would like it. All right, I am going to go ahead and I am going to open up my iodine and pour it all over the cotton balls and I will go ahead and dispose six inches above. I will now open up my lubricant and I will pour that into the kit and then I will dispose of that six inches above. I will now take the blue sleeve off of my Foley kit very carefully so that I'm not flinging the Foley everywhere. And I can leave the blue sleeve inside of the box. I will attach the pre-filled NS syringe to the balloon port. And then now I will begin to cleanse. All right, Mrs. Jackson, I'm going to go ahead be, uh, to uh, begin to cleanse your peri area. I will take a cotton ball. And I will go ahead and now I'm going to lose this hand. I will spread the labia and I will cleanse the labia furthest away from me in a downward motion. Dispose. I will come back. Second cotton ball is going to cleanse the labia closest to me and I will dispose. My third cotton ball I will take and I will cleanse right down the center. Downward motion, dispose and I will get rid of those. Okay, Mrs. Jackson, I am now going to ask you to bear down. I will lube the tip of the Foley catheter. I'm going to ask you to bear down, and what that means is like if you were going to have a bowel movement, and that opens up your urethra so that I can really see uh, well for the Foley insertion to be, insert, to Foley to be inserted. Okay, so now here we go. Go ahead and bend, bear down, and we are going to go ahead and... Take this here. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and insert. Okay, I am going to insert until I see a flash of urine into the tubing, and I do see a flash of urine. I'm going to advance one to two inches more. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the Foley. I'm going to administer all of the saline, inflating the balloon. I will take twist off and dispose. I will now attach. I will pull back on the Foley just a little bit, gently pulling. I will now go ahead and attach the stat lock to the Foley catheter. Making sure I just have a little bit of a loop here, it's not too tight. All right, and then I will be sure to take my Foley bag Put it on the bed frame, making sure that there are no dependent loops. And I will go ahead and gather all of my equipment and all of my supplies. All right, Mrs. Jackson, that completes your Foley catheter insertion. I'm just gonna go ahead and make you comfortable. 
I'm going to reposition you here. I'm going to bring your gown down. I will remove your bath blanket. I will reposition your arm. And I will be sure to put your blankets back over you. I will be sure that I have two side rails up. Your bed is back to lowest position. Your call light is within reach. Your brakes are locked. Do you have any questions for me, Mrs. Jackson? All right. I will remove my gloves and I will wash my hands for CDC guidelines.